Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another Simple Truth news update. And it just seems as if more and more is coming down the pipe today uh, as far as the news that is out there. Got another report here today from Alex Jones's Infowars.com. And it's about what the DHS, Department of Homeland Security, is making a move to do. They've already, if you haven't heard of it or you don't know about it, there is already a border all around the United States. All of the states that are on what they consider to be the border, the border of Canada, the border of the Pacific, the border of the Gulf of Mexico, the, the border of Mexico itself, the border of the Atlantic, and, the, uh, and just every border city and state. If you are along that border and anywhere 100 miles inland from that border, it is considered a constitution-free zone. Yes, you heard me, ladies and gentlemen. You may have heard about this, but you heard it come right out of my mouth. A constitution-free zone. I don't know why this comes as a, as a surprise to anyone who is a follower of the simple truth, is a follower of... Uh, my, uh, one of my counterparts out there, Jay Snip 4, Pastor Dow, uh, even uh, Viking Preparedness, any of the different sources that you hear me talking about that I pay attention to and I listen to, as well as Alex Jones himself, many are in the understanding and in the know to know that here in the United States, we are losing every bit of the rights that we have as people here in this country. You've heard me say it once and I'll say it again. And I am also mirroring what Pastor Dow has said. And that is that the Patriot Act was instituted as an act against the Patriots of the United States, of America, the Patriots of America. But understand this, when you listen to this article and you see this article, understand that Homeland Security is taking over the surveillance blimps that are to monitor the border between the U.S. and Mexico. But do not think that that is the only place or, or that is where the buck will stop as far as their surveillance efforts. Because as I mentioned, that Constitution-free zone is important because it extends 100 miles inward and trust me it will not stop at 100 miles take a listen uh, to this article pay very close attention to it and i'll be right back with you well hey ladies and gentlemen here's the article that i was just uh talking about it comes yet again from alex jones's infowars.com it came out today august 20th 2013 and here we have another one of the alphabet agencies making inroads to gaining more control of what happens here in the United States. And, and the article is entitled, Homeland Security to Assume Control of Surveillance Blimps. Federal agency ignores Fourth Amendment within 100-mile constitution-free zone. Before I read this article, I had read an article in relation to these constitution free zones a few weeks ago and I kind of left it on the back burner but when this story by Alex Jones came out it really brought home the point of the importance of what is happening with these hundred mile constitution free zones so the article reads the Department of Homeland Security is to assume control of surveillance blimps used to monitor the U.S.-Mexico border. A disconcerting development given that the federal agency considers all areas 100 miles inland of the border to be constitution-free zones within which the Fourth Amendment does not apply. DHS will now oversee the giant tethered blimps used ostensibly to look out for drug smugglers which are located in Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona.
Spokesman Bill Brooks of the Customs and Border Protection told the Yuma Sun that the department accepted the aerostat system from the Air Force earlier this summer and will manage and maintain it for the foreseeable future, reports the Arizona Daily Star. While on the surface, it appears that the blimps will merely be used for border security, the fact is that the DHS now considers any area within a 100-mile radius of the entire U.S. border to be what the ACLU has described as a constitution-free zone. Ladies and gentlemen, are you hearing this? They are blurring the lines. More so, they're not blurring the lines. They're making the lines quite definitive on what they plan to do and how they plan to do it. According to legal precedent, the Fourth Amendment, the right to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures does not apply along the border, reports Wired. By the way, the government contends the Fourth Amendment free zone stretches 100 miles inland from the nation's actual border. As part of this usurpation of power, the DHS has announced that it has the right to examine electronic devices without a warrant in the name of national security. Given the DHS's complete disdain for the Fourth Amendment within this imaginary constitution-free zone they have created, trusting the agency to operate sophisticated spy blimps within the same geographic area is a privacy disaster waiting to happen. Police departments across America are already attempting to secure permission from the FAA to deploy surveillance blimps to spy on suspicious activity, and last year the U.S. Army tested a football field sized blimp over the city of New Jersey. In a related story, the Pentagon also recently announced that it would permanently deploy two giant surveillance blimps over Washington, D.C. and Baltimore as a replacement for ground-based radar systems used to detect cruise missiles, high-speed attack boats, armed drones, planes, tanks, and trucks. Despite assurances that the aerostats would not be used to spy on the public, yeah, right. They will not be used to spy on the public. Some have expressed concerns that the sheer size of the 238 feet drones would make it fairly easy to attach all kinds of surveillance devices to the blimps. Here you have the map that they're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, where it says the Constitution Free Zones of the a zone of the United States, and you can see that it stretches all around the border of the entire United States. It borders all of Alaska and Hawaii. You can just forget it in Hawaii. In Hawaii, you, you don't have any rights. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are seeing here is do you notice how it stretches in? This area here is supposed to be 100 miles in. Before we know it, we will eventually see a map fully covered where there is no constitution because they have no intention of even honoring these things. They want to take it completely away. Ladies and gentlemen, the simple truth of the whole matter is, there used to be an old saying that went something like this. Those who don't know their rights don't have it. Well, what happens when you know the rights that you should have, but those are even being erased, changed, and taken away. This has been the simple truth. And as I always tell you, the simple things are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. I want to thank you for joining me on this episode, and I'll see you, you, and you again real soon.